ever wondered why and how artists create such unique works of art? How do these individuals come up with so many great and wonderful ideas? My fascination with the lives and minds of artists and innovators has led me on a quest to discover what makes us humans creative, where ideas come from, and how they come to life. Artists have been a major part of humanity since the beginning. You have to agree on this one. We create art because it's really important to represent different cultures, retrace history, evolve as a society, and after all, shape the future of humanity. Now, drawing and painting have always been a passion of mine, and it has evolved into something bigger. I used to try sketching new things as a kid. I would let my thoughts wander and create something on a blank sheet of paper. I would transfer, transfer whatever image I had in my head, and finally I would come up with something. However, the biggest issue was that I would never be satisfied with the outcome. Therefore, I would always throw away the drawing instead of keeping it. I had this mentality that once I messed it up, it was done. It was finished. I had to either throw it away or start the drawing over. I even remember this one time when I decided to use a variety of colored markers and pens and pencils just to make my artwork look more different from other works. And I emphasize the word different since most of us believe that each person's creativity should be unique from one another's, which is true. The world needs your creative ideas. And you might even think that you cannot come up with the most interesting and original ideas. But as a matter of fact, you are capable of doing that. Because everyone in this room shares completely different stories and experiences. And that already makes us very distant from each other. Vincent Villain Van Gogh once said, if you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. I wholeheartedly agree with this quotation, and I would like to ask you to snap your finger if you ever considered yourself as a creative human being. All right. Now, everyone has their own interpretation of a person who owns a creative mind. And you, if you asked how I personally define creativity, I would say that creativity means the process of allowing your mind to play, wander, and eventually invent something new. Or even it's finding an idea or solution by experimenting and playing. It is the capacity to generate ideas and identify new approaches and solutions to problems and limitless opportunities. The real reason why people think they are not creative enough is because they don't really get the psychology behind why they think so. Now, creativity means ideas and experiences. And what I exactly mean by that is, the more ideas you encounter, the more experiences you have, and the more people you interact with, the more creative you, yourself, can become. When we draw, we have to look and discover the world around us and our surroundings. And we should really understand where all of these different ideas emerge from. Creativity arises from imaginative thoughts, and the transition from imagination and visualization into creativity is what really distinguishes oneself. Appreciating works of art provided inspiration, which later on boosted our creativity. In today's brutally competitive and fast-paced global economy, innovation is not only crucial for gaining a competitive advantage, but it's also a must for our survival. Today's very complicated and unpredictable world requires going beyond simply using historical events to bring divergent thoughts and ideas and solutions to current concerns. A very well-known CEO of Apple, Steve Jobs stated, creativity is just connecting things. And when you ask creative people how they did something, they feel a little guilty about it. 
because they didn't really do it. They just saw something, and it seemed obvious to them after a while. Creative thinkers are global thinkers who take chances and strive for perfection. And all of this may lead to a lifetime creative thinking and effective problem solving in the future. I think the impact of art on people's creativity plays a really significant role in our overall performance in everything. And with limitless opportunities provided in this world, you would want to try something new, which might be, for example, to try drawing some things you can't see, like thoughts, emotions, or feelings, or just whatever you can't physically see. And by doing so, you let your creative mind wander again, and you create, you draw what, for example, music looks like. Now, here's a story of mine when I once decided to acquire a second view on my artworks before throwing them away. So I went to others and showed them the following paintings. And their reply was entirely unexpected. They praised me and admired these paintings. And it was so strange to me since the only question that followed was, why couldn't I think positively about my own art? Now, I would never consider myself as an artistic or creative person that would sketch or paint something that would leave hundreds of people speechless. And let me tell you that discovering and identifying the beauty in a so-called ugly drawing is not that easy. Yet every artwork is unique in its own way. And it takes work to become creative. For some people, it might even take a lot of time, too. But it doesn't mean that the possibility is not there. So I would like to encourage everyone in this room to never stop engaging with your creativity. Otherwise, we will all stop believing that we, ourselves, possess it. Thank you. <laughs>